it's Nick from Nail Control Lincoln and Blooming Spiders I'm through to the top 10. Now this week's challenge, wow, if the past two weeks were in Bake Off there would have been Victoria Sponge and Scone. This week would have been Souffle, yes that's how hard it was. It was based on CND's Future Forms which are made of aluminium and we had to use CND's over the top shiny chromium powders and glitters. Now I grew up in the 80s. My idea of the future is a mixture of Mad Max and Star Trek Voyager. So I'm wondering, what kind of future are we going to have? One with gun-toting men shooting everybody, or a woman solving the universe's problems with a little bit of tact and diplomacy? I know which one I'd rather have. Have a look at this video and let me know what you think, and I'll see you later. I use C&D sculpting powder to create my nails today and over the top chromium powders for effects. C and D forms are extremely adaptable and I stuck two together to make my form longer. Handy hint, when fitting a form, fit it like you don't have a file. This way you'll get a fantastic C curve. Create the spine of your nail first before you put your apex bead on. A good C curve offers strength and durability to a nail. If you have fitted your form correctly, there shouldn't be much filing. Always check that C curve. As you can see, I have an extraction unit in the back. We don't want lots of nail dust everywhere. It's bad for your client's nails and it's bad for you. Future forms can be used to create lots of different shapes. For my lithium battery nail, I'm going to cut up the backing of future forms into small little squares. I have used C and D products today for all the chroming techniques that you're going to see. Onto a wet top coat, I placed my little squares of backing and then cured them under the lamp. When they came out, I peeled them off. I then went over them with gold chroming powder to give this fantastic effect. We could even have microchips or QR codes in our nails in the future. For this microchip nail, I went over with green chroming powder first and then one of C&D's over the top powders. It looks fantastic. As you can see on this nail, I actually cut out little holes using my e-file. I'm going to use that later on to put wire through. Using gel polish, I created a circuit board. You can mix C&D's over the top products with your gel top coat to create some fantastic effects. I use Gold Party for this. I'm going to use this technique to go over some of the black to really make it pop. Nail art is becoming more and more adventurous and I can see this trend just getting bigger and bigger. I've used copper crafting wire for this and just poked them through then sealed it afterwards behind with some top coat. We are all used to paying for things with our phones, but what if we could pay for things with our nails? I use Gold Party for my Bitcoin nail. Using Breezer Gel to create my coin on a surface which had some sellotape on to stop it sticking. Just create a disc. You may need to put a couple of coats on to get it as thick as you need. After curing, I refined the shape and chromed with gold chroming powder. I finished the coin using C&D Shellac Gel Polish. Our nails could be travelling to galaxies far, far away. After roughly chroming the main body of my spaceship, I got on with creating the cockpit. Use blue tack covered in cling film to create your shape, a couple of coats of gel and then pop off. You can use a little top coat to stick this in place. Using the same technique that you used to create the coin, you can create any shape such as the wings for this fighter jet. Don't be afraid to encapsulate weird and wonderful things. I use cling film and future forms for this for my solar powered wings. When they're cured, just pop them off, refine the shape and stick them onto your jet or whatever you're doing with a little bit of top coat or hard gel. Finish your detailing using a little CND shellac. When we're off discovering new galaxies and new people, I really hope we don't fall out with them. This nail represents us doing just that. Gold foil to represent a broken planet and a lone astronaut's helmet floating in space. 
Work thinly if you're using this technique with gel polish. If you put it on too thick, it will bubble up in the lamp and completely wreck your design. Finish your design using no wipe top coat. I even added some barbed wire to really push the point home. Would it even be a futuristic set without a post-apocalyptic nail? Artists and designers have always aired their views through their work. Nail art is already following suit and I can see this becoming more and more in demand. They could become a visual expression of our views and feelings. Maybe in the future our nails will become their own power source. When I first saw CND's future forms, I thought they looked like solar panels. So that's exactly what I've made them into for this nail. Future forms are very durable and keep their shape. It was very easy for me to create this design. I sealed the forms using top coat, then finished the design with some gold gemstones. We're all used to QR codes now, but what if we had our QR codes on our nails? With intergalactic travel becoming the norm, I do wonder what they're going to do with all that space junk. I created my space junk by using hard gel, copper wire, the backing from Future Forms and Future Forms themselves. The over the top effects were perfect to create my oily, sludgy mess. I finish this look by mixing all of the over the top pigments together with gel top coat and painted it on top of my space debris. After placing pigments and wet top coat on this nail, I then put a layer of bubbles. I then cured it in the lamp and removed it. Afterwards, it left this fantastic reptilian effect. In the future, nail art could be influenced by different planets and different species of people that we meet. Who knows what wonderful designs will be gracing our fingers in the future. And here's the finished nails. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making them. Bye.